Hi everybody, it's Emily from Vintage Polka Dot Shop and I'm here today with a journal, journals, share, sharing, um, for these two cookbook journals. I actually finished them a while back. I'm just like the queen of procrastinating and it it's taken me this long to get around to uh, making the video and getting them listed. Um, on my blog, I have a post on how I made these charms and I will include a link to the post um, so if you're at all curious you use shrink plastic and I'll have my resources and all that jazz super duper duper fun if you want to feel like a kid again and watch the thing shrink in the oven highly recommend it for making charms um, and then I for this I also have um, how I rebuilt the spines well I didn't really rebuild them but I reinforced them this is fabric a long time ago I had it in my Etsy shop vintage polka dot shop in case you missed that and um, I don't have any more but I'm just rubbing it in um, and I how I attached this to reinforce it because it had the tears this particular see I have two because I like to work on more than one journal at a time um, this one was well, well loved. It's from the 1950s, and this particular edition happens to be one of my favorites. And these are both the same edition. It's just that this one, see, it has book corners, um, and you'll see on the inside, it was it was rough. Um, but I just love the um, illustrations inside. I'm just a sucker for a cool picture. And then this will come unclipped. It's just binder clipped on. If if the charms and the jangles and the jingles are not your thing all right so open it up and i had to as you can see this was just thrash so i had to cover it with scrapbook paper put a pocket in with some recipe card recipe cards <sighs> and this is um oh you know uh when you fabric tape you have like washi tape that I made using carpet tape. Watched uh, Gail Gustinelli's video a long time ago and stuck in my brain and it worked so good for reinforcing the inside of this. And this is also fabric once upon a time I had in my shop that I don't have anymore and it's all gone. So I don't mean to make, you know, rub it in your face, but, and then as you, I don't know, um, I what I did because this front page, see how it's torn, um, was in such rough shape that I put it between two sheets of uh, overhead projector film that I got thrifting. Um, so, I guess, let's start. Oh, and this is really, see what I mean about the illustrations? All the um, tabs have these wonderful, all the newer ones don't have this. After this edition, they're just pictures of food, I think. Um, and see like along in here. I just love that. It just is so 1950s. So I'm just gonna flip through, I think this one, they're very similar, there's differences. I will have um, pictures on my, um, this is a copy of a quilt. I will link pictures below, um, art pictures. I will put links below of uh, photos and a blog, I'll put a blog post up with a lot of pictures. And of course the Etsy listing will have pictures but we're only allowed to do 10 and this is overfilled i admit it whoever gets this might want to take some pictures or pages out boy i can't talk today i'm not an afternoon person is my problem um i'm a morning person and it's an afternoon see i can't even turn the thing my arms aren't long enough okay and this is from graphics fairy just printed on the scrapbook paper an old recipe card and i put the in the blog post i'll have all the printables where i got them and links so you guys can go and get them if you so desire and then this is a pocket with a um index card colorful i'll put that back in later i just you know i've got the camera or my phone in front of me and i can't reach without knocking it so I'm just not very graceful. What can I say? Short, short arms, short reach. So I apologize if this goes out of frame. Maybe if I move this a little bit. Sorry. Here we go. Let's give that a shot. Maybe my short little arms can reach things a little better. As I said, this is super duper full, but better too full. And then you can take out what you don't want. More graphics, very. Um... They're not full enough, right? You want a good, a 
good big bang for your buck. These are um, old napkins that I cut out and sewed on index cards. I love that with the stripes and the age. And they're clean. I mean, they're stained, but they're clean. I washed them. My old flashcard, Tim Holtz people. And then here's like a little um, pad, notepad. And then because this ad was so long, whoop, whoop, um, I did a little flip just for funsies. Why not? pocket more things to journal on some of these are from this book like that and some are from other cookbooks like this one um so i tried to put a lot of variety of different things in here look at this this is look at that oh, she's got gloves on to go grocery shopping can you even stand it oh so classy not me i'm pig pig pens my uh spirit animal I am not at all classy. All right. So we've got a recipe card or a recipe from a newspaper or magazine that I sewed on, some cardstock, some play money, old Hydrox ad. This is like um, one of those books that came with, like when you bought the vacuum cleaner. And I just love it. She, by the way, is vacuuming also, but more of a sensible pump, you know, a small heel. You know, you never know when your husband's gonna come home. This is a color copy of a, or a scan, or printed on my printer, but of an old quilt square, some green stamps, and a, you know, send it into the magazine card or whatever. Old flash card from the 70s. Printables, this is also a printable, on, and then this uh, flattened bottle caps from Hobby Lobby. Um, as I said, on that blog post, which I have not written yet, um, I will put links because even if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, you can order from one. Um, and then the tab was totally thrashed on this. So we have a ticket. As I said, this one had been well loved. And then pocket with lots of ephemera so you can go through and embellish to your heart's content. Um, just a little card there. More graphics fairy. Uh, old pattern envelope with... Um, oh, and that's the iron on. I tried ironing it on. I think they were just too far gone onto paper and it didn't work, but I'll have to try again another day. Uh, maybe with a newer one or maybe those have been used. They didn't look like it, but I don't know. So another awesome tab. Another one I had to cut the tab off because it was thrashed. She loved this cookbook. And then a little journaling card and then a page from an old reader. Um, this is a printable, and if my brain was like totally on fire today, I could tell you who that printable is from. I mean, I can picture her store, but I'll just put a link. That's easier anyway. A little collage, and then some same place as, you know, the other things, um, and some journaling cards, and just kind of another little collage. This is also an old, um flashcard and this set that I have and occasionally I put them when I have flashcard sets fascinates me jello is a name brand it was for English as a second language and they also have Volkswagen I mean they have these name brands that they're treating like generic uh, Kleenex you know because I guess that's how we talk about them but I just you know they wouldn't even do that now um, and another I love I told you in other videos I love playing with slides so there it is to replace the thrash tag, tab, I mean. And then we've got just a reproduction postcard and the other side of the, um, you know what that thing is, oh, a slide. And this is a playing card. I thought they're kind of beat up, but isn't that fun? And then they have recipes on the back. And this is made especially for you by Oma. And this is the old pipe cleaner container and I put a little tag in there. Thought that was a lot of fun. Old ads, I just love. <laughs> Use the tension. Chew some gum. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna make you feel better. And then there's a recipe in there. I won't pull it out. And then this is a note paper with a recipe and more um, overhead transparency film. I love that stuff. Um, if you thrift, you can find usually find a box. And then uh, old vintage photo. Isn't that cute? And then some old recipe cards and an old, old flashcard that's loved and tattered and torn. 
kind of like how this cookbook was. Um, and then these, okay, these are copies of my grandmother's um, recipe cards that I printed on printable vellum and I used the Hobby Lobby brand and then these are printables uh, for the bottle caps. I think I got them from Old Design Shop. Um, I'll look it up. And then I just stapled them on and they're just on little index cards. Fun, fun, fun. Another old recipe book and I have this side out so if you wanted to put a little dangly dooly there you could. Um, part of the box of butter, an old one. And then you can journal right there. Betty Crocker um, recipe page, old coffee bag, and then I sewed or attached it. I glued, glued. That's right. I glued it. It's been a while. Glued it between the gaps, you know, the gusset, um, because I didn't want to punch holes in here. Then you wouldn't have any room to put stuff. Isn't that wonderful? I love how vibrant it is. I got that at an antique mall, and then a really long tag to go in there with some Rick Rack. You gotta have Rick Rack and page or cut out from a reader and an old recipe card. Um, boy, I feel kind of, I hope this isn't making you nauseous with me moving this all around. I'll get this one day. One day I'll just be like amazing at doing these videos. So thank you for bearing with me. Love these old ads. Oh my gosh, I had to put them in there. They were just so much fun to go through the magazines and cut them out. Um, and this is an old uh, runner and I only have one of these but this is from a flannel board every time I say that I think of veggie tails ooh flannel craft um and look at this ad oh no this is tragic oh boy so I love that and then uh, got a little calendar page from a children's recipe book or middle really more for middle school age um and then transparencies again this one's printable um and so you can i just scan the quilt square and then this side is a pocket so you can tuck things in there so i thought that was kind of fun just a little fun um another magazine ad I had to flip it because it's so long. And then I cut a little, so you can get in there, cut a little slot for the hole. This is so cute for eggs and cheese. Please bring in her the eggs. What a good man. And more goodies for ya. And some Tim Holtz there. And an old uh, how to crochet doily thingy. Add uh, instructions. Boy. <sighs> Words are not my friend today. Thank you for hanging in there. Okay, and then part of a paper doily, placemat type, ledger paper. You gotta have some ledger paper. Note paper. Oh, I glued it on that. And more pockets with recipe cards. And this came with, but I took it out. You know, like those grandma plastic hood, hoods you put on your head when it's raining um, to protect your curls. Um, so I just, it's kind of, but it's for some being bread. I don't know if that's everywhere, but I know that's a Pacific Northwest thing for sure. And just a little tag. Isn't that fun with the pink? And then there, I just... <sighs> and then she's also from that uh, children's cookbook. And then we've got tag here and tag there. Here a tag, there a tag, a bag. Another one of the flashcard for can opener. And a glassine bag, recipe card, um, journaling space. If I kept it flat, that would help, wouldn't it? Um, and then flip out. This calendar was already cut out like this. I did not do it. Um, I have no idea what year it is, but it definitely is from like the 50s or the 60s. It just has that age. This is the um, front of an old apron pattern. And if you look at my shop, you'll, you'll probably have noticed there are no apron patterns on there. I That's the one thing I've been hoarding. I don't know why, but they just delight me. Um, so maybe one day I'll do a cookbook kit and everybody who gets a kit can get one of my patterns and I'll share them. It will be really hard, but I'll do it. And then another um, 
shrink, shrink term. And then this one, I won't go through everything, but as you can see, it has its natural corners. This is its term. They're very similar. A couple of things are different. And instead of happiness is homemade, it has cake mix. Oh, geez, it occurs. And then this one was in slightly better shape. So you do see um, the original back, which I will, or end papers. And then for, for this one, it doesn't have a pattern pocket in the back, but I fussy cut. This pattern envelope was in rough shape, so I just cut the people out. And then this one too has its front page in, sewn into uh, overhead protector. And as you can see, these tabs um, are in much better, better shape, so it doesn't have as many uh, replacements. Um, but it's a very, very similar book. So I will have pictures of both books and I'll have links. Um, like instead of the pipe cleaner, it has an old shutterbug envelope. Um, oh, and then this. Hello, if Elena, if you're watching this, hello. She sent me, dear, dear, sweet Elena, sent me this uh, tablecloth. And so I made it into a journaling card. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oh. So this is the, for that blue and white spread. And then look at this little girl. Look at that. I love that art style. Ooh, chocolate fudge soda. Yummy. So... You guys kind of get the gist. I just, and then in the back, as I said, it doesn't have an apron one. It has um, a stitchery. So that's just a quick, quick overview of these journals. Um, I think when I, when this goes up, I will pretty close to the same time have um, these listed. Uh, I don't know when that will be because I'm trying to get ready for my sale, which I will talk about in another video. Um, but, anywho, let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I do have a question for you guys watching this. I have several of these cookbooks in various shapes of condition. Not, I don't think I have any more that are this edition with the cool uh, graphics. I have some newer ones, but not super new. Huh, how's that for being vague? Um, would any of you be interested if I, would you like me to list some of them in my Etsy shop? Um, I would love it if you could comment and let me know. Oh, and then another thing I forgot to say too. Well, no, never mind. I don't need to say it. Never mind. Sorry to be rambling. I hope you guys are having a great day and I appreciate you watching my video and putting up with my, um, how should I put it? Dinginess. Um, always appreciated for your patience. Thank you. Bye.